Previously, we looked at how to subset NASA Jedi Lighter data by defining the coordinates of a bounding box. Today, we'll be seeing how we can subset the data based on a shapefile. However, before we start, please note that at the moment, subsetting by shapefile option is not available within the NASA Earth Data Search website. Therefore, we will be performing the clipping operation within the R. For saving time and storage space, I would still recommend you to download a subset of your data using bounding boxes as I had shown you in my previous video. And once you have that H5 file downloaded, you can then clip it to the polygon of your study area using the shape file. You can also just download the entire granule and then do the clipping. However, in this case, it will take way more time to download, load and read the data in R. Getting that out of the way, now we will look at subsetting using shapefile and for this we will be using the sample data set provided within the RJDI package that my colleague Carlos Silva and his team had made. Links to the related code, previous videos and data download will be provided in the description section but please leave me a comment if anything is unclear. What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi there, this is Mikey and in this channel I upload videos on topics related to GIS, remote sensing, machine learning, data science and visualization. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in any of this. First things first, let's go to our R console, load our RJDI and related packages. And it's not like you need to install all these packages, I'm just doing this in the start so that I can play around with codes and test different approaches later. Then set your working directory. In my previous videos, I had walked you through how to find, subset and download Jedi Lighter data for your study area and how to read them and clip them using bounding boxes within R. If you haven't watched those videos yet, please go through them first and so that you can get a better understanding of the subject. I have included a link to my LiDAR remote sensing playlist in the description section below. Now set your working directory. Here as mentioned before, we will be using the sample H5 file and shape files provided within the RJDI package. Let's go ahead and download the data from GitHub using this code here. The downloaded zip file should contain all these files. These H5 files are the Jedi granules we talked about. Here there are some other sample shape files and airborne layer files as well, but we won't be looking at it now. For this tutorial, all we need is the Jedi level 1 BH5 file and the stand Sahato shape file. Treat the shape file as a spatial polygon data frame. However, make sure that the projection coordinate system of your shape file is matching with the Jedi files. If you have any doubts regarding this, check out my video on projection coordinate system. The link will be included in the description section. Load the H5 file and extract the geolocation information. Okay, now let's visualize this. This code should be pretty self-explanatory, but let me know if you have any questions. Here we are just plotting the H5 file based on the latitude and longitude information and then overlapping the shape file representing the boundary of our area of interest. What we need to do is to subset the existing H5 file based on the polygon we got here. We can in fact perform a couple of other operations as well such as visualizing the Jedi footprints based on various attributes of the shape file such as area ID or area size as well as we can create a color gradient based on parameters such as canopy height or canopy cover values. However, we will be touching those cool things only in future videos. For now, we will just focus on clipping the H5 file. As always, we are taking the level 1B data for demonstration purposes, but the workflow is the same for level 2A and 2B products. For subsetting data based on shapefile, we can use the clip level 1B geometry function. I shall include a link to the RJDI package documentation as well in the description section so that you can access the codes right away. Okay, well, the file name is wrong here. I think this should be sample. Okay. 
here you need to specify your original H5 data, your study area polygon, and also the output folder and file name. This might take some time depending on the size of your data. And in the meantime, make sure to like this video if you are finding the content useful. Okay, so the clipping is done. Now, if we go to the output directory, we can see the newly created H5 file. Okay, so again, some error. I think I know what's going on here. It should probably be some issue with the file name. So yeah, this has happened to me before too. Make sure the name is correct here. Sometimes for some reason I have seen that the new file names have an additional underscore. I don't know why, but if I find the solution I shall include in the description section. But if any of you guys know, please leave me a comment. Okay, now let's remove the underscore and read this again in R to make sure that it's subsetted correctly. So yeah, everything looks fine here. You can see that we currently have only those Jedi footprints that fall within the study area boundary. Well, that's all for now. In the upcoming videos, I will be diving deep into individual NASA Jedi products and will be showing you how to generate canopy maps and so on. Hence, stay tuned and make sure to hit that subscribe button and in case if you haven't already checked out my LiDAR remote sensing playlist, do give it a look, the link is attached in the description section. Till next time, ciao!